another nice bite here. It's another probably solid two and a half or again. Solid two and a half or just kind of switched up my colors a little bit. I'll show you on the other view. Yeah, it's another two and a half or so. All right, so there's that two and a half -er. That's a 4.8 inch paddle tail, weighted spring lock with, uh, I believe it's a 4.0 hook on there. Yeah, 4.0 hook. Saw him over there, jumping when I caught the last fish. He's out there flopping around. So, figured I'd see if I could do a little cast to catch kind of thing for you. He was up there feeding. When I caught the last one, I'm going to try not to make too much noise here. Because there's probably more of them over there. Yeah, it's a problem. All right, there's the last fella. He's a little pound and a half. I switched back to the weightless 3.8 inch bluegill colored. Because this is a more shallow area again. So, give me a little more time to float it around a little bit when I go weightless. Well, you know the deal. Fishing video from Maine. Gotta have a pickerel. Gotta have a pickerel. There he is. Making his debut. I can't make it through one video without a pickerel. <laughs> well, he almost made it off. Just as I was pulling the hook out. It fell out. There we go, Mr. Pickerel. Mr. Chain Pickerel, sorry. Chain Pickerel. They flop like crazy. My glass is wet too. Well, I got what felt like a decent hit and I went right for the weeds. Yeah, right for the weeds. Oh well. All right. <clears throat> I just decided to throw out the chopo for take a break. And we got another pickerel. And he jumped off. The best kind of pickerel. Alright, got this one here. <clears throat> right up in the really pet. Man, another pickerel. Jeez. I think the bass have gone deep and the pickerel have come to play. Hmm. Oh well. Alright, there's that last toothy critter. Splashing up to the camera. Mr. Pickerel. Mr. Pickerel. Alright. First hit. It's quite windy today, so this is the <clears throat> continuation of my test. My weather tests, I guess we'll call it. Um, with Hurricane Dorian, so... Explain it to you a little better in a second. So, there we go. That's a solid two. 
Oh, two pounder there. Again, these ones are. All right, so this is the continuation of my weather test here. Uh, I did a baseline about a little less than a week before Hurricane Dorian. Then I went out right before it, literally hours before it. And now I'm out the day after. And it's all at the same location. Um, the only variable I have now, unfortunately, is today, which is I'm not fishing at exactly the same time as I did the other days. So, let's see if that makes a difference.